It's essential that before this political agreement on the reform of CAP to have a budget without a decision on the budgetary perspective uh, for the next budgetary period, uh, we cannot do this. And then it's important that the Parliament advance in the treatment of uh, the number of amendments that they have, because then we have to start uh, negotiations between Council of Ministers of Agriculture and European Parliament, together with the Commission. So I hope that the Parliament will be able to maintain their timetable and in November to start the first vote in the Agriculture Committee and then to start discussions, formal discussions with the Council. We don't know for the moment which will be the final definition of the greening and which will be, will be the conditions for uh, implementation of the greening. As I mentioned today here, we already propose a system of equivalence uh, to the three measures greening with some strong agri-environmental programs. And I know that in Scotland, uh, the farmers, a lot of farmers are already involved in this agri-environmental program. So, uh, I don't, I think that by the end the farmers will not be obliged to leave agricultural activity because of greening, but uh, at contrary to, uh, to improve uh, their capacity to produce even in 10 or 20 years uh, using the positive results of this greening measure.